So all your life you've been talking about angles in degrees, 360 degrees in a circle. Well, we're going to get rid of that now and we're going to come up with a whole new way to measure angles. And that new way is called a radian. Now, it's really, really simple to understand what a radian is, I think. Um, now, one radian is equal to approximately 57.3 degrees. And you're already thinking, well, that's stupid, isn't it? 57.3, that's dumb. But there is a reason it works that way. And I'm saying approximately, it's not exact. All right, here we go. This is our radius. Now I'm gonna take a length approximately equal to that, well, sorry, exactly equal to that radius. And then I'm gonna take it and lay it on this arc. Okay. Now, trust me on this, this length is equal to that length. Okay, so there, Draw a little dotted line up here like that. That is approximately 57.3 degrees, but more importantly, it is one radian. So that is your new measure of angles now. Whenever you think of angles, you won't be thinking in degrees, you'll be thinking in radians. If someone tells you you've turned that far, you'll say, oh, that's about a radian. If someone says they've turned that far, you'll say, oh, that's half of a radian. If somebody says that they've turned about that far, you'll be able to say that's two radians. So there's two radians there all the way around to there. Now remember, this length is equal to that length, which is equal to that length, because that's what a radian is. The radian, this length is equal to that length, which is equal to that length. If somebody were to turn even further, you would say that they had turned three radians. Three radians, right there. Okay, you might be looking at this and thinking, well that's really silly now because it looks like we had this nice little number, a nice round number, 180 degrees, and we're going to get to here and we're not going to have a nice neat number. We're not going to have four radians. We're not going to have three radians. It looks like we have three and a bit radians. And you are right, we have three and a bit radians. Three and a bit radians. But to be more precise, it's approximately 3.14 radians. And to be even more precise than that, it is pi radians. And that's where it comes down. That's sort of where the rubber hits the road here with radians. We can now talk about angles in terms of pi. So if you turn 180 degrees, if you turn around like that, then you've turned pi radians. If you turn a full 360 degrees, you've turned 2 pi radians. So that's the introduction to radians. That's what they are. We're going to use them because angles are all about circles and circles are all about pi. And that's why we're going to use radians.